Hey everyone, a very good morning to all of you. Myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So guys, let's begin today's video. But let me inform you that we have launched the live courses for RBI, SEBI, and NABAD, and also the crash course for RBI for the NABAD grade has also been launched. This is our mobile application. If you want to scroll, uh, if you want to know about the latest updates about the examination, you will get the updates. And apart from the updates, you have many more things to explore on the application. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, this is the time you should download the application to make the process more handy for you. Okay, so let's begin with the first question. The first question is, which company has collaborated with ISRO for Azadi Sat? So first of all, this Azadi Sat is a small satellite launch vehicle which ISRO has launched with the help of a company, and the company is Space Kids. So exactly the news is that ISRO has launched this small satellite launch vehicle which is named as Azadi Sat. Okay, in partnership with Space Kids and this. In space end. Now, this in space end, I will discuss about this. But let me first tell you that this satellite has a speciality, and the speciality is not only uh, is in its name, but also in its development. So, Azadi. Uh, you all know that we are celebrating the Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav, 75 years of our independence. And yes, the satellite, sorry, the launch vehicle has also a relation with the Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav because it has been launched under that occasion only, first of all. And secondly, 75 payloads built by 750 young girls from 75 rural government schools have been onboarded on this small satellite launch vehicle and launched so that is the peculiarity you have 75 75 750 375 in the development process only so 75 payloads developed by 75 girls from 75 to 750 girls from 75 rural villages and this has been launched at the 75th anniversary of Indian independence okay in the commemoration of the 75th anniversary okay so this is the basic idea behind this small satellite launch vehicle which is named as Azadi satellite okay so you can remember it in this manner that in the rural areas now in order to give freedom give Azadi to the girls this Azadi uh, satellite launch vehicle has been launched okay because it is a small satellite launch vehicle, therefore the small girls, the young girls have developed it. So in this manner, it will help you in memorizing this entire news, okay? Now, the as far as this in space end is concerned, so this is basically a platform created by ISRO to facilitate the private development of satellites and uh, your uh, satellites and associated goods okay equipments for the satellites and the launch vehicle so all of that the facility for private development of all such equipments is facilitated by this in space end and space kids is a private organization okay moving ahead to the next question national education society for tribal students uh, under the ministry of tribal affairs and central board of secondary education have launched exper experiential learning uh, for 21st century program for Eclavia model residential schools, principals and teachers virtually, which company is a partner in this program. So basically, this program aims to train the principals and the teachers. And in this program, Tata Trust collaborated with the Ministry of Tribal Affairs and the Ministry of Education, or basically these organizations of the respective ministries. So, I have already told you the purpose of this uh, program that is experiential learning for 21st century to train the principals and the teachers and what would be the outcome of it? Better learning outcomes, better teaching inputs, okay? Partners in this program are Tata Trust, Tata Institute of Social Sciences and Mahatma Gandhi International School. So these three organizations are the partners in this program. So do remember this thing. And it is an online program for the educators to help them adapt to classroom learning and uh, make classroom learning inclusive of real life experiences, okay? So if you give real life experiences to any topic, it becomes very easy for uh, students to remember that topic. So in order to give that kind of training to the teachers and the principals of the Eklavya model schools, this program has been launched. 
moving ahead recently central government has set the target to eliminate kala zar by 2023 from the country by which year will who eliminate this disease so here the right answer is 2030 india has decided to eliminate this disease way back than the target of who who has set it in 2030 and india is going to be free of this disease by 2023 so let's know some facts more about it so this information was given by minister of state for health and family welfare dr bharati praveen pawar in the lok sabha okay this is not a very significant fact you can clearly skip remembering this statement now next uh, important statement for from exam point of view is that who has decided to eliminate this kalas the disease by 2030 now what is this disease it is basically a disease caused by this infection now what are the basic symptoms of this disease do you know what is this disease actually i have told you the reason or you can say the parasite which causes this disease and most probably you can expect a question out of this as well if the examiner is not in the right frame of his or her mind the examiner can frame a question even out of this information but what exactly kala azar hai is this is your question do tell me what is this disease and what is the current situation of this disease in india that india has decided to eliminate this disease by 2023 now we are going to uh, reach this target or you can say we are going to move into 2023 almost the more than half of this year is completed in 2023 we are going to see the end of this disease so what is the current prevalence of this disease find it out read it uh, on your own so that you can get the entire picture in your mind moving ahead how many ayushman bharat health and wellness centers are operational in india so here 1.22 lakh that means 1 lakh 22000 uh, ayushman bharat health and wellness centers are located and operational in india whereas the target is to establish 1.5 lakh basically 1 lakh 50000 uh, ayushman bharat health and wellness centers now these will be the complete target will be achieved by this year by december 2022 only and this information was given by dr mansukh mandaviya the health minister next question is which edition of youth abhyas will be held in uttarakhand so 18th edition of this exercise will be held and it is an exercise between india and us okay the exact location of this exercise is oli uttarakhand with which ministry has the ministry of msme signed an mou for the sharing of udyam data so guys it is ministry of tourism now i hope all of you know that udyam is the platform of the ministry of msme that uh, that allows the msmes in india to register themselves and after their registration they are eligible for availing benefits okay of various government schemes so now ministry of msme and ministry of tourism and this nsic all of these organizations uh, have collaborated for sharing the data on for sharing the udyam data now on the occasion of this uh, mou dg locker facility for the udyam registration was also launched so basically the registration certificate of the msmes will now be available on the dg locker facility as well okay and apart from this one more information is here that 1 crore micro small and medium enterprises have registered on the udyam portal within a span of 25 months and it is a huge achievement so this is guys the news but why is it here why has the ministry of msme signed these mous with the ministry of tourism and nsic so here we have two reasons first reason is that the first mou has been signed with the ministry of tourism that is the ministry of msme and ministry of tourism both of them are collaborating so that the tourism can be increased and the benefit of that tourism the increment in the tourism can be provided to the msmes as well this is the basic idea i hope you are getting what i'm trying to say developing the msmes clusters msme organizations so that they can offer goods to the tourists as well and simultaneously tourist will come to the village or will come to a location where the msmes are providing craftsmanship or various kinds of products so this is the basic idea 
this is a kind of symbolic relationship if you all know whenever tourism is there in any kind of village or in any kind of place automatically employment is generated automatically the uh, you can say the local people who do the craftsmanship who work on the textiles who work in small and medium enterprises they get the opportunity to sell their products to the foreigners to the tourist basically and this in this manner the products of the uh, of the msmes get a wider audience now with the help of this mou what will happen that udyam registration udyam data is there with the ministry of tourism and ministry of tourism and ministry of msmes both will collaborate in developing those msmes and developing tourism in the msme area now second mou is with the skill organization it is a uh, national skill uh, develop corporation so this organization will provide skills to the msme so that they can create better products so this is the implication of this uh, news moving ahead danuri is the first uh, lunar orbiter of which country so south korea is the right answer now south korea has launched this danuri which is its first lunar moon orbiter and it has been launched on the uh, it has been launched by SpaceX on its rocket, okay, Falcon 9 rocket. Apart from this, uh, nothing much is there to be noted uh, from exam point of view. Now, do remember that South Korea is among the nine countries which are collaborating with NASA for the Artemis project. Artemis is the project in which NASA is going to send second man and first woman on the moon by 2024. who heads sebi's fpi advisory committee so it is kv subramanian who has been the former economic advisor of india now this fpi com uh, advisory committee will basically work on foreign portfolio investors and the basic purpose of this committee is to suggest measures so that the foreign fund can be increased in india the uh, flow of the foreign foreign funds can be increased the total strength of this committee is 15 including the chairman moving ahead what is the current reverse repo rate as of august 2022 so it is 3.35% now uh, you all know that on uh, saturday the monetary policy committee ha uh, had held its meeting and during that meeting the rates were revised and these are the revised rates so you can see the policy rate sta is standing at 5.4% the repo rate is 5.4% which is again a very uh, you can say high repo rate then we have standing deposit facility rate 5.15% marginal standing rate 5.65% bank rate at 5.65% and reverse repo rate at 3.25% so all these rates have been increased to squeeze out the liquidity from the market and reduce the inflation so i hope all of you are aware of each and every term mentioned here in this picture and if you do know then please tell me the basic difference between marginal standing facility and your bank rate what is it this is your next question okay so the last question of the day is who has been appointed as a chairman of central administrative tribunal so ranjit vasantrao more has been appointed as the chairman of the central administrative tribunal and this is the person So here guys this video ends i hope you have enjoyed the video and if you really have enjoyed it then do not forget to mention the answers of my questions in the comment section below thank you so much for watching this video